Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday. Today I am bringing you my Sephora uh, customer appreciation slash we are changing our rewards sale surprise. We're having a sale haul. So um, I actually did a video, what was it, the week before last about what I was interested in picking up from the sale. And per usual, things did change ever so slightly um, because I, I did do an online order and then I also did some in-store shopping, which influenced the change of some of the things that I originally had in my cart, which I will still be getting, but probably at the next sale. I do want to say I have actually already recorded this video or I thought I did. Um, I feel a little silly bringing you this haul today with this very minimal makeup look um, when I have such an eyeshadow heavy haul. <laughs> I, um, I thought I hit record when I filmed this yesterday and I did not in fact hit record so that is why the thumbnail I I'm wearing different clothes and I'm wearing much more makeup in that thumbnail. Um, so yeah, I'm re-recording this today. Today is actually Saturday, so <laughs> usually the weekend I wear pretty minimal makeup if I'm just kind of mousing around the house or whatever. So um, also all these things have already been like unpackaged. So anyway, my apologies. Um, Yesterday's video would have been really great had I actually hit record, but you guys know me and technology. So let's get into the haul. Um, I will link again my original wants video down below, um, but I'll kind of mention the things that changed just a little bit as I go through the video as well. Okay, the very first thing that I was super excited to get was the Nest Pumpkin Chai Candle. Now, Sephora offers some votives and some of the reed diffusers and the biggest size that they go to, however, online are these eight ounce candles, which it's a little bit of a bummer. I would have definitely picked this up in the three wick. Her three wick candles are pretty expensive. Um, so I tend to only get them on sale. I was really excited about pumpkin chai because a lot of you mentioned to me that this was one that I would absolutely love. And you were right. Um, first off, I love this amber colored glass. I just think this is beautiful for the season. And you guys, this smell, while I don't think of it as pumpkin chai, I think of this as a very, like this is what a fall pumpkin candle should smell like. Um, it has sweetness to it. It has definite pumpkin notes. It has some spice to it but it's not overly like cinnamon spicy. There's there's nutmeg that comes through. There's maybe a little bit of cardamom. Uh, I, I will burn this. I will do an in-depth review on this one. It's gorgeous, you guys. I am so glad that I have this. And I would, the next time that Nest has a sale on their website, I will definitely pick up a larger size of this. Um, it's beautiful. Thank you guys for the recommendation. I love Laura Slatkin's um, fragrances and this one is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I also love her husband Harry Slatkin's <laughs> home fragrance line. I feel like the two of them definitely, um, they have a nose for this kind of stuff and that scent is beautiful. I cannot wait to review that for you guys. Okay, so um, this is something that I was not originally planning on getting. This is the Olaplex Hair Perfector, the number three. Um, this is a bond builder, right? Yep, it's a bond builder. So this was, I believe, $28. I'm going to link everything down below for you guys. So if you are interested in reading up any more about these products, I don't know, is the sale still happening on Monday when you guys are watching this? It might be. It might be like the last day of the sale. So I will link all this stuff if you want to like make a last minute order or whatever. But um, this was 3.3 fluid ounces and it was 28 bucks. It was kind of expensive. The reason that I picked this up is that my best friend from college, Kate, sent me a text and was like, have you tried this Olaplex stuff? It's amazing. <laughs> I was like, no, I have not. Um, 
she said it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to use so you have to like wash your hair and you have to towel dry your hair then you have to put it in then you have to leave it in for a good chunk of time and then you have to wash and condition your hair again so this is something that you need to do when you have say a lazy Saturday or Sunday but I'm very excited to try this out because I've heard lots of good things about the Olaplex line. I've never had an Olaplex treatment at a salon, but I like the fact that you can do this at home now if you want. So I'm gonna give it a go. I will do an in-depth review of this. So look for that soon. Um, I picked up the Milk Makeup Translucent Light Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. So this right here. Um, this is a massive amount of powder, you guys. I, this is a lot of powder. I've heard really good things about this. Um, this is talc free, by the way. It's also silicone uh, free, dimethicone free. And it is 100% vegan. There's no parabens in here. And obviously milk makeup is cruelty free. So I wanted to do a setting powder video, a dedicated video on this. So I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up. Um, I, the last setting powder that I reviewed for you guys was the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Now this does have talc in it. I don't have a problem with talc, but I know some of you do. So I thought I'd go ahead and talk about this because I don't think the price point on this is terrible. I want to say this was somewhere around 28 to 30 bucks. I don't remember exact numbers because my memory is like that of a goldfish like it just doesn't really exist anymore so I will link this down below I've heard good things so um, we will give this a go and you guys will see a review of it soon um, another setting powder that I picked up but I went ahead and got it in the small size because if I love it I can always get the larger size at the next VIB sale in November which is definitely happening by the way this was just a sale that they had because they changed over their rewards program to kind of like market the changes and stuff but anyway the veil translucent setting powder from hourglass which i love hourglass as a brand um i wanted to really try this this is a good amount of product in here i mean this would last me probably several months um you use such a small amount when it comes to setting powders but I've heard amazing things about this and I wanted to go ahead and do a dedicated review on this as well. The texture of this is very, very silky and soft and I really love the packaging of the full size. So I know that I can always pick up the full size at the next sale. So, but I went ahead and grabbed this. And um, let me see, is there anything that is not eyeshadow related? That I, yes, this, okay. So I picked this up on my friend Susan's recommendation. This is the Kevin Aquan The Sculpting Powder. Um, this is four grams of product. Um, it, it's a really small little compact, as you'll see here. <laughs> it's very luxurious in that it comes with this little useless pouch, which, I don't know, I'll give this to Stella. She'll find something to do with it. But this is this is pretty small. However, um, I did compare it to my go-to um, contour powder, which is the NYX Blush in Taupe. So this original one, not the reformulated. Um, it's the same amount of product in both, so I know that this would last me a really long time. Um, but this was like $48, I think. Um, I chose the color medium because that is what Susan said I should get. Um, and you guys, this is the perfect contour shade for me. I haven't even tried it yet, but I just know based on this kind of gray, very boring tone that this is exactly what I look for in a contour powder. I will just put it next to this right here so that you guys can see. I actually think that I like the tone of the Kevin Aquan one even better. So I'm excited to start using this. I'll do a worth the splurge on this because these are really expensive and obviously you can get contour powders for much less. Um, but I don't know. I am at an age where I don't mind splurging on something if it works extremely well. So that is why I do that worth the splurge series. I do recognize that not everybody wants to splurge on every single makeup product and 
if you're not in the market for something like this anyway, then, you know, obviously don't buy it. But if you're curious about it, I'll let you guys know whether I think it's really worth it. So I did finally pick up two more of my Visart um, Theory palettes and this is the packaging that they come in. I picked up the Nuance and the Amethyst and I'm really excited to finally have these in my collection. I've been wanting them a very long time and I finally decided like it's time to just get them. Um, I love the Visart or Viseart, whatever it is. Um, eyeshadow formulation. I do have the Chroma palette, which is, oh yeah, by the way, I wanted to mention to you guys, the Chroma palette is actually on sale for like 36 bucks. I will link it down below. Um, if you want this, you should get it soon because it looks like it's being discontinued, which is a bummer, but I love this. This is, this is a really nice palette. I think the one that I still want to get is the Minx. I want to say it's either the Minx or the Cashmere, but um, this one is being discontinued, so I would snag this up soon. I'll link it. Uh, but let's go ahead and show you guys. They're just so beautiful. They're so much prettier in person than they are online. Um, so this is the Amethyst right here. I will do a review and swatches of both of these together after I use them for a little bit. Um, I have no doubt that the formulation is amazing, but I just wanna play with them a little bit and just let you guys know whether they are worth the splurge. It's $48 for each of these, I believe. So it's nice to get the 20% off. Um, I also like that you can very easily remove these from the palette, like so, and you can either mix and match or put these in a larger palette, which I intend on eventually doing. So um, you can see that just pops out of there very nicely and then you just stick it right back in. So that is Amethyst and this is Nuance right here. The Nuance I thought was absolutely beautiful. Um, just more like rosy, yeah, just rosy shades essentially. Do I have other palettes like this that have similar shades yeah but I don't have these <laughs> so anyway this is just something that I've been lusting after and I decided to treat myself so I'm very happy to have these in my collection now the next thing I'm going to show you is and there's several things but I did not know that these existed um and when I went in store and saw them, I thought, what are these? They are gorgeous. The texture, everything about these new Marc Jacobs Omega eyeshadows. These are a gel powder eyeshadow. Everything about these screamed really unique to me in terms of formulation, in terms of like the claims of the wear and all this stuff. Um, the texture was just incredible. When I was swatching them in store, they were like butter. And there were, I can't even believe, there were actually five shades. Um, I only have four boxes here because one of the boxes I already threw away. Um, I did pick up five of these eyeshadows and this was a huge splurge for me, but I justified it in the following way. Um, I, I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and there's a lot of palettes that I buy that I will like maybe half the shades in there but I don't wear the other half and um, these were kind of spendy but I know that I will wear each of these very regularly um, I see myself reaching for these quite a bit I will do a worth the splurge on these and I will do swatches in that video so look for that in the coming days here. Um, but they're just, they're absolutely beautiful, you guys. So again, the shades that I picked up are number 500. The, this one's called Perfect O. Um, this is a kind of vanilla cream. It's a satin finish. I picked up, this is Daddy O, number 500. 30. This is a beautiful chocolate brown and it is a kind of matte satin finish. 
probably more matte than satin even. Um, the, the perfect O is definitely a satin finish, but this one is a lot more matte. Um, this is the big O and this one is also matte. This one is beautiful. You guys look at this as a transition shade. I actually thought for a second that this could also be a contour powder. So I, as this one I knew I had to have, and, um, this is the first one that I swatched and it kind of kicked up, kicked off like my obsession with, I kind of want all of these. Um, this one I have actually been playing with and wearing. This is Primo number 510. There is something totally different about this formulation, you guys. It is gorgeous. And just from wearing this one over the last few days, I can tell you these are very different and very unique. I love the texture of these. I love the wear. Um, I love the way they look on my eyes. They are absolutely stunning. And then the last one that I picked up, I specifically picked up because it reminded me a little bit of Satin Taupe from MAC. And this is Oh Yeah, um, number 570. And obviously MAC is no longer a brand that I purchased from. So I went ahead and um, picked this up to see if it's a dupe. I don't think it's quite spot on. But it's that very similar, like purpley, silvery taupe shade. So I wanted to have this. Um, there is a huge amount of product in here. Where's the box? How much eyeshadow? It's 3.8 grams or 0.13 ounces. I mean, this eyeshadow would probably last an average person like a lifetime, <laughs> even if you used it every single day. I, they're just beautiful, you guys. There you have it. That is my haul. I obviously did not pick up the mascaras I was planning on getting. Honestly, I still have some mascaras in my backup drawer here that I still need to use. So I'm going to use these over the next couple of months before obviously the November VIB sale hits and then um, I will pick up more mascara at the next sale. It just wasn't something that like I needed this go around so I went ahead and um, put those back into my loves section and yeah so this is everything I, I ended up spending a lot more than I wanted to because I picked up so many of these but I can tell you just from the one that I've used they are they're pretty amazing so I'll link them down below um, let me know if you guys have any questions and um, yeah Sorry that I didn't wear any of this stuff today. I, sh I should have totally just done my makeup anyway, but just you have to be in the mood, I feel like, to do your makeup, right? Like, I do. If I'm not in the mood and I do my makeup, I usually end up hating it and then... Mm. So, yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Let me know what you actually picked up from the sale down below, and um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.